let me show you a tool that's going to help you rank number one on Google. It's a system that provides you an SEO score based on the top competitors who are ranking for those keywords that you want to rank. So it makes you write better content. Plus, aside from all of that, it has AI writing skills. So that means that you can expand content and have content written for you with Neuron Writer. Let me show you really quickly the deals going on right now before it's gone. It's a lifetime deal, so that means that you pay once and you don't have to pay month to month like you would on other systems like Frazi, which are kind of expensive paying month to month. So it starts off at $59 for the lifetime deal. And let me show you really quickly what it gets you. So you get access to two projects, 25 content writing queries per month, 15,000 15, monthly AI credits. Now these will vary 15,000 through 75,000 because it gives you an option to have good content or kind of okay content. So it's based on that. So if you want the best content, 15,000 a month. And if you want random content, well not random content, but not as strict content, you can have 75,000 words a month. And if you can, you can stack these for more projects, more AI, AI writing and all that good stuff. So let's go jump over to my dashboard. This is Neuron Writer. Now, after watching this video, you're going to see it's actually super easy to get started. So let's get started with a new query, okay? So let's get started with something that we actually want to rank. So for example, I can say best WordPress plugins, which is, I would bet it's kind of hard to rank on that plugins, all right? And you can search, select the search engine. So if you want another search engine based on the country, you can do so with that. Also, the language, in this case, I'm going to write on English, but there's all these languages available, which is a bunch of them. Additional keywords that we want to include inside of this so it gives us better results. I could say, for example, WP Rocket, which I know is a really good WordPress plugin. So I've added a few plugins right here, and let's go ahead and start right now. So this is going to start the process of the analysis, and it's going to take a little bit. And what it's going to do is it's going to analyze the top 30 or 50 people who are ranking, blogs that are ranking with these kind of conditions that I'm setting for it. And based on that, I'm able to select what I want to actually use as a reference for the blog that I am going to write. So let's wait for that to finish. There we go, it just finished. Let's go ahead and open up the editor right here. And right now what it's doing, it found the top blogs that are ranking with the specific keywords that I've selected. So if I wanna rank on that, I better take as a reference these blogs. Now I can go through these and see what they're actually ranking on and the titles and all of that. Some of these might not be a good fit for the content that I want to write. So I can disable and enable these as I like. So we can see the content score right here. So if it's under, I don't know, 50, I might not want to use it for in this case, 43, maybe I don't want to use this. I can go ahead and skip that one and I can choose other ones. Plus it also gives me the length of words. This is important because sometimes like this one, 374, that's kind of short. So I don't want to select something like that. Another thing that I want to search for is if it's based on something like short, like a something that's like questions, answers, forums, where it's something like small text, I don't want to select those. And now that I've selected these and I'm good to go, I want to use these as a reference for the blog that I'm going to write. So let's go ahead and wait for that one to load in all this information. There we go, it just loaded in the information. And on the right, we're going to view all the keywords that it's suggesting me that I should use on my blog. Now, there's, these are gonna become highlighted once I start adding them. Now, how to get started? I would start off with the meta. The meta is gonna say, you know what, I'm going to need the title and description. Same thing goes if I would write this on any CMS, which would ask me for the title and meta. So let me write here, for example, Okay, so I just wrote the title. Now, what about description? I need to write that also. But I can also get ideas from here, show usage. So I can grab something from here. Um, obviously, I would change this up because I don't want to use something that's just copied. But for this case, since I'm not going to use this for actual posting, this is just for demo purposes, I'll post it in here. And we're getting description length and all that good stuff. So right now it's boosted 7, 12% 12 12 right here out of 100. Let's go back into the content. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set up my draft. So let's go into draft. And from here, I can grab ideas from the blog posts that are ranking. Like I said, for this purpose, I'm gonna grab them, just some that I find interesting. Well, not interesting, I'm just grabbing these for the video, okay? So I'll grab these, obviously grab the good ones and change it up because obviously you don't want to straight copy someone. You wanna create it more um, personal, right? More, more dynamic. 
Also, we can grab in some questions. Those are some headers. We can grab some questions here. I'll grab two of them. They've been added down here. And let's go ahead and save this and copy to editor. There we go. Now it edited here to the editor. You can see it started boosting right here and it started hi highlighting some keywords that I want to rank on. Now, this is one of the good stuff. I can go ahead and write the content on my own, which would be the best way to do it. But you can also use the AI writer that it has. So for example, with this outline that I have right here, I can go ahead and do a beta generate, okay? So it's grabbing the heading from here. I can modify this to make it a little bit more interesting and keywords to include. Now, I would highly recommend that you add or remove keywords that you don't want it to rank on or keywords that are missing that you do want to rank on. So I can set up my high creativity right here. So very low, low, medium, very high. Like I mentioned before, this is based on the AI writer with the amount of keywords, amount of words that you get per month. I'll leave it as it is. Also, if I want to set it high quality or lower quality. Again, lower quality will give you more keywords, more words per month. So let's go ahead and generate this. And there we go. Based on the outline that I have, this is going to give me this wording. So it gave me 457 words. I can go ahead and use this or generate it again. If I don't like it, I can skip it. Or if I do like it, I can kind of modify this even more to make it even better. And I can do this with every single outline right here to start ranking. Once I finish with this, and if I still find keywords that I want to highlight because they are missing, I would manually input these inside of there. So basically that is the overall on how to get that information. Now there's a whole bunch of tools included in Neuron Writer. Now we can see this, there's no H1, there's seven H2, zero B, bolds. And for example, I can highlight WordPress, I can make it bold, updraft, which is something that's interesting. I can make it bold, so it gives me more ranking there. The H1 is not added there, I don't know why, but I would grab the title, for example, content, add it here make it h1 and it should add it in a bit let's go ahead and save it there we go h1 and it's going to start boosting the score now how to read this score obviously we want to get the best score possible even 100 if it's possible but for example if you get a score over 64 that means you are going to be ranking in the top 10 obviously with a lot of work top one you would need a score of 48 it's even lower i don't know why that's lower nine out of ten Nine out of top 30, 63. All right. So if I want to view a checklist of this, I could see what's going on. Now, what do I need to work with to get a better score? So here are all the, the data to actually rank better. For example, 76% on main keyword. Made a title, 66%. So I need to work on that. Usage of the terms. So for example, and the meta title, and the meta description, so on and so forth work on all of that. We're able to view the keywords, check them out, this usage, exclude them from suggestions. So if you think that keyword is not something that you want to use on your blog, exclude it so it's not considered in the ranking. Now, if you need ideas, there's the ideas section right here. For example, ideas for H1. I can see them right here. Again, these are graphed from the competitors, so you need to modify them. Don't use them just like you would find them here. I would need ideas for H2. There's some there. If I need ideas for H3, I can find them here. So it's pretty cool because it gives you all of that. Once you add the idea, then you expand the content and do more A writing. YouTube videos based on that, if I want to grab YouTube ideas based on this so I can expand my mind and for find more information, that is possible. Now, with this information, if I highlight something like this, there's the AI writing also for this. I can change up some things and I can do some AI writing. I can start a paragraph based on what I've highlighted. I can expand that information and I can rephrase it. Now, rephrase is pretty good because let's just say, like I mentioned before, what if we grab the title and well, the outline and I grab it straight from the competitor? I want to rephrase it. So let's go ahead and rephrase this and that'll give me something more unique. So this is giving me what it suggests. For example, yeah, I changed it up a bit. So I'll use this text. Okay. Hmm. It didn't put it inside. Rephrase. Let me copy this, but let me use it again. I think it, oh, here it is. It didn't remove the other one. So that's something that they need to work on. It didn't remove this one and it created these two that I've just generated. So again, I would remove that one and add it, but they need to fix that. 
So again, work on all of this so you get a better score. I can go ahead and save this. I can export it, import it, and the draft which you saw right now. Now I can also view the top analysis so I can analyze the competitors with all this information, go to their blogs, see what they're doing, see what makes them rank even better. Competitor breakdown for the content volume. There we go, article length, total length. So we're getting these graphs. It's really important information if you try to do something really well. Or maybe you have a virtual assistant help you with this and they'll use all this information from their own writer to write even better blogs. Content terms. Oops, we don't want to click on that one. And all that good stuff. And also comments if you need to write this. Again, if you have a virtual assistant writing comments, it's a good thing to understand what's going on later on. And that is what I find interesting about Neuron Writer. Now, you would have to understand that the AI writing skills that this has is obviously not the best out there because that's not the main focus of Neuron Writer. Neuron Writer's main focus is providing you the SEO scores so you can create that content that's going to rank. But having that feature there makes it really, really great because it saves you a lot of time. And if you have another AI writer, you can grab that content over there and put it in here so you can see how it actually scores so you can get that rank on number one Google. But there you go, that is the normal writer. If you wanna grab the deal, that will be provided in the description so you can help me out with a small commission and it won't cost you a single cent more. And that's a wrap.